What's going on, guys? So I know for those of you that watch this every week, I did have to skip last week's weekly rotation. First time in over three years that I had to. I didn't get back till late Wednesday. I would have had to film it late that night, put it out on Thursday, and then, you know, it would have been a couple days later. Here comes this one. So I actually did skip that one, unfortunately. Those of you that follow the community posts and or follow me on Instagram saw what I was wearing anyways. So this is a new week with some newer stuff to my collection like literally all but two fragrance i mean even one of them that's a bad for a little while hasn't been that long but a lot of newer stuff to the collection a lot of great variety some niche some designer and our moth fragrance got a little bit of everything and it's week number 157 so stay tuned <laughs> Starting off on Sunday and Monday, I wore this all day, both days. Just recently did a full review on this one. I've actually quite been quite enjoying this. It's Bulgari Man Wood Neroli. Very underrated. And yes, I'm, for those of you that saw my rack store video with George at Marshall's, I know I overpaid for this one. I could have got it for probably like $20 cheaper. But in the moment, I was like, screw it. I'm good with it. Wanted to pick it up. I'm so glad I did. It's a zesty citrus at the top, a little fresh, spicy. Just super, super fresh, white floral tones, soapy, aromatic. Not as woody as you would think for wood being in the name, but there's a little bit of a soft woody tone as it dries down. This is lovely. Average performer, nothing spectacular in performance. I didn't expect it to be. I got pretty much what I expected in performance, five, six hours. Decent sillage, nothing spectacular, like I said, in performance, but it smells really, really good. These Bulgari Man flankers continue to impress me. The last one I got was Glacio Essence, and for those of you that have been watching me for a while, you saw I went on a tear in a short period of time wearing that one pretty rapidly. Really digging that one. And as spring rolls around, this will be going in, back in the rotation, as will Glacio Essence, because this is putting out some really good stuff. I wouldn't call them masterpieces by any means, but I wouldn't call them just basic and forgettable either. So, solid stuff all day Sunday and Monday. Bulgari Man Wooden Rolly. Moving into Tuesday, this was one that I had been kind of reaching for randomly here and there. I just featured in a video a few days ago. I featured it in the blind smelling rate with uh, Justin and Grace. This one has continued to impress me every time I spray it, every time I smell it. Newest release from Eight and Bob. This is Agnetta. This stuff is magical, guys. Card just some of the main things you can expect to smell from this is cardamom, warm amber, oud, and coffee. It's breathtaking. It's so good. Such a good fragrance. <sighs> wow, is all I can say. Already sold out on Twisted Lily. Just came out. $280 for 50 ml. I went to link it for samples in the video I featured it in. Sold out already. So there's people that are were excited about this one in the niche community. Our, our fans of Eight and Bob. And it sold out pretty quickly just from Twisted Lily. I'm not sure where else they have it, but... This stuff is awesome and is worth an experience. I still smell it floating in the air. This is part of their Les Extraits collection, uh, the Extraits, and it's the way they've framed it. It's even in the print inside the box that this was made with the best raw materials available. And I believe it. It smells of top-tier quality. It smells expensive. It is expensive, but you get what you pay for here. It's a lovely experience, one that is absolutely worth having. That's why I encourage you guys, when you can find a sample or a small decant somewhere online, get your nose on this one. I ended up wearing it out the shower as well. Just gorgeous stuff. Eight and Bob, Agnetta. Moving into Wednesday, I went back to the well on this one. I continue to enjoy it. It's better than the EDT, in my opinion. Of course, if you want loud, you should go with the EDT. This is not super loud. Got a lingering sillage though, but this is the Parfum Pure Perfume version of Club de Nuit Intense Man, big 150 ml. Been wearing this one here and there, been enjoying it, did a full review on it. It's nice, kind of a candied lemon and very earthy, very earthy fragrance as it dries. Smoky, but not as smoky as the limited edition Parfum in my experience. This kind of ventures and veers off the path more so than any of the other flankers. I have not tried the Eau de Parfum, but I have the limited edition Parfum, I have the EDT. I haven't tried the oil that comes with the Dabber, the pure oil, but this one veers off the most from the two that I have. Those are much more similar to one another. One's basically just a richer version of the other. Whereas this, the DNA's changed slightly, tweaked, like I said, very earthy, candy sweet at the top, but it's good stuff. Lasts a really long time. 
Um, and the sillage is pretty damn good on it. Like I said, it's just not real heavy in projection early on, but what you do get is pretty consistent. It's just been, it's been nice to wear. During the day, Club Didn't Weed Intense Man, Parfum Pure Perfume. And then I got the shower. It was time for a shave. And uh, yeah, I was in the mood for it. Zaharoff Signature Rosé. This is the aftershave splash. I used the shave soap. And of course, I gave myself a few sprays of the fragrance because why not? Beautiful stuff. Walked in the room. Wife said, ooh, you're wearing rosé. One of both of our favorites. We, we both really, really enjoy rosé. Those of you that haven't experienced it, you want a unique floral experience, a lot of incense, amber, a little touch of oud. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Stunning stuff. Very unisex, but leans a little masculine because of all the darker notes. A lot of incense on my skin. Uh, it's just beautiful. Not too sweet on my wife's skin. It's more of a sweet rose on me. It's more of a smoky rose, basically. Very warm and ambery. But beautiful stuff for sure. Out the shower. Went with, had a shave with Zaharoff Signature Rosé and sprayed the fragrance. Moving into Thursday, I ended up not wearing anything out of the shower. Like I said, I got back late this day, but this was my travel day scent. I continue to enjoy this one. I just did a full review. This is from Latafa by the Al Oud Amethyst. This is beautiful, guys. Like I said, I don't have a decant of Atomic Rose anymore, but what I remember of it, it's pretty similar. Obviously not on the same quality as an Anishio fragrance, but this is a beautiful, thick, rich, and sweet, jammy type of rose. Beautiful. So, so good. A little bit of oud, very ambery at the same time. A little earthy, woody, dark tones in the backdrop. Performance is really good on this one as well. It's cheap. Doesn't smell cheap to me. It's pretty hard to beat, to be honest with you. This is some really good stuff. I, like I said, I continue to enjoy this one. I've gone back to it a few times now. I've even done a full review on it. Definitely check this one out. For some reason or another, you haven't gotten your nose on it. You like Latafa fragrances. This is definitely a great one to check out during the day because I didn't wear nothing out the shower. Latafa by the Al Oud Amethyst. Moving into Friday, I just featured this one in the last video that came out before this one. Um, I went donate blood yesterday. At the recording of this, it's Saturday night. Friday, I went donate blood. I actually got three compliments while I was there from this one. Wore it when I got out the shower that night as well. So all day I was rocking this one. This is Rose Arma Rose and Marias. Marius, Marius, I forgot exactly how to pronounce it. And it's a French name. I'm not going to try to butcher it, but it does translate to a stopover in the creeks. And it does give the vibe of standing in a creek. Water jasmine is in the notes. There's a lot of citrus here, but nothing really sharp or really sweet. It's just very mouthwatering, juicy. It's a soft, powdery, white floral tone. There's a little bit of an herbaceous feel that kind of wraps around it, but never takes away from its freshness and aquatic nature. It's not overly powdery. Like I said, it's very soft and powdery. There's some musks and woods in the backdrop, but a lot of different florals. There's geranium. Like I said, the water jasmine, tons of different citrus. There's mint, there's lime. There's a lot going on here. It's lovely. Perfectly unisex, definitely does lean feminine, but I gotta tell you, this is just magnificent to wear. Get a sample and try this one, guys. This is a French niche house, niche house that I've just been introduced to, and uh, man, I'm, I'm impressed. I want to explore more from this house because this particular one impressed me. Cuts through the cold, strong enough without being overwhelming. It's not a loud, cloying fragrance, but it pierces through the cold. It was damn near about to snow when I wore this on Friday. It was... Feels like low 20s all day. Cuts through the cold, no problem. The sillage is great. The longevity is great. It's just a beautiful fragrance. Definitely check them out. I'll leave try to leave links to everything down below for any of you that want to check this stuff out. But all day long, I was rocking this. A stopover in the creeks. Finally, on Saturday. So I have my scent of the day in hand. I haven't taken my shower yet. I will be wearing my out-the-shower scent afterwards. But I felt it was only fair. I was seeing so many posts a lot of posts, overwhelming number of posts. It's a good problem to have. To be honest with you, it was awesome to see of people wearing this as their scent of the day, and I said, well, I might as well join in. So I went with Evening Mystique. Why the hell not? I appreciate all of you that have purchased, for all of you that have gotten your sample that didn't order this but ordered one of the other ones, and all of the wonderful messages, posts, and feedback, and videos, and everything I've seen from you guys. I get impressed by this every time I spray it too. I love this fragrance. Now you guys know that have tried this, what I was talking about when I was saying how proud I am of how Evening Mystique turned out. I just, I can't. 
I've said so many things about it prior, and I knew there was only so much I could say that you guys needed to experience it for yourself. You needed, those of you that haven't tried it yet, you needed to hear from others. You don't just want to hear it from me, because it's my fragrance. Of course I want you to get your hands on it. But I would like to think the reception has been overwhelmingly positive, at least everything I've seen. And I can't thank you guys enough for that on behalf of Justin, Andrea, and Anthony, and George. We appreciate all the love we are seeing for the Zed Creators 2.0 collection. It's just been awesome. It's been awesome to see you guys' reactions and just the excitement you guys have shown us because, like I said, we're super proud of the way these turned out. They couldn't have turned out better. Second Soul is amazing, of the Immortals is amazing, and I humbly say this as, as humbly as I can, I guess we'll say, Evening Mystique is amazing. During the day, TLTG Reviews and Zaharoff, Evening Mystique. And then in a little while, not too long from now. I'll jump in the shower. I haven't worn this one in a little while. Mossy Into Me for Men. A gorgeous, juicy fruit watermelon smell at the top with a lot of ginger and woods as it dries on my skin. Really good stuff. Easy going, fresh, and versatile. Everybody I've talked to that wears this and has this, they don't get the amount of ginger that I get on my skin. Maybe it's just my skin. They all talk about the watermelon note because, yes, it is a beautiful, authentic, believable watermelon note it's a niche fragrance it is not synthetic it's awesome in the top but as it dries and i even get a little bit of ginger up top but as it dries it becomes more and more about this crisp bright ginger note light and fresh spicy soft woods Whew, really good lasts really long super bright up top decent sillage as it calms down more performance than i need for out the shower tonight but i'm just in the mood to wear it because it's so damn good it deserves another wearing it's been a little while out the shower this evening on saturday mossy into me for men well that was this week's rotation and until next time do me a real quick favor go ahead and like comment subscribe i do appreciate all the feedback and i love hearing from you guys what did you guys wear this past week i love reading those comments it's my favorite comments to read i went on an entire week without getting to read that stuff because unfortunately i had to skip a week based on time constraints and being out of town and so on but thank you again to everybody that has supported the zed creators 2.0 collection uh, if you're interested in any of these fragrances, I'll leave links, any codes I can find for whatever. If it's a code I have for an affiliate, whatever. I'll leave that stuff down for you guys if you're interested in getting samples, checking these, these fragrances out. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these, especially this one, you give it a spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.